In this segment of this tutorial, we will show you how to import a solid and prepare it for machining. Importing a solid is not as difficult as most people think. File, Import, select your file type. In this case, it was sent to us as a parasolid X underscore T. These are all of the different file types that GibbsCam supports for solid model and 2D geometry import. After we select Parasolid, we find the file that we want to import. Click on it and press open. That's it. That's all there is to importing a file. Now, this part came in and it's out in space. When it was drawn in an assembly, because it's part of an assembly, it may not be lined up with the machine axis. We're going to line the part up with the machine axis rather than line the machine axis up with the part. We'll do that by turning face selection on, select this face, right click, align face to CS. The part is aligned correctly. It's a little too high in the Z. We're not sure how much. So let's use modify absolute translate. Double click here, press your alt key down and find the height of this surface by clicking on it. It is at Z.25. Click on the part, tell it that you want it to go to Z0, and do it. This part is now ready for machining. It is aligned with the machine axis, and the top of the part is at Z0. Some parts, when they're imported though, are not aligned to any axis they may be skewed in multiple directions. With a few extra clicks in GibbsCam, we can align those additional axes. File, Import. We're going to select Flange Import 2 because we prepared it for this demonstration. As you can see here, it's rotated in two different directions. We want to align it with the machine axis Click the face, right click, select Align Face to CS. And for the most part, it is aligned. Let's go to Modify, Absolute Translate, and perform that translation again. And now it is aligned in the Z axis, but as you can see, it's crooked in the X and Y axis, and we don't know what the angle is. Fortunately, with only a few clicks, we can find out that angle and rotate the part so that it's square with the axis of the machine. Let's select these two faces, right click, and extract edges from that face. We now have geometry. We're going to draw a center point here and a center point here using geometry point center point. We select the circle and click the do it button and we now have two points at the center of these circles. We're now going to draw a line between those circles. And now we have a line reference to be able to rotate this part into position. We will go to Modify, Absolute, Rotate. And we want to rotate from an angle to the angle of 90 because on the CAD clock, 90 degrees is at Y, 0 degrees is at X plus, 180 degrees is at X minus, and 270 degrees is at Y minus. So we want to rotate from this angle and we simply double click in from, alt click the angle, and we want to rotate that to zero. If we do a control A, select all and click do it, the part is now fully aligned with the axis of the machine and it is ready for machining. 
In the next segment of this video, we will show you how simple it is to machine this part as a solid.